Big West fan, super excited to see you back here for another segment of Schuler for Two. Let's get after it. I got two minutes. Reigning player of the week, A.J. Mitchell from UC Santa Barbara. How good was he against UC San Diego and Cal State Fullerton last week? He averaged 23 and a half points per game, four and a half assists per game, nearly 60% from the field and made all 10 of his free throws. He just keeps getting better statistically from one year to the next. Now, take a look at the upcoming schedule. All these games can be found on ESPN+. Plus. The game I want to note on Thursday is Long Beach State at CSUN. This is the Nick Herman Memorial game. This is in celebration of the life of Nick Herman. He was the first recruit under head coach Trent Johnson. Herman tragically passed away of cancer in August, and they're looking to honor him in this contest. But then on Saturday, you have UC Santa Barbara at Cal Poly. That's also going to air locally on Spectrum Sports Net. But the game I'm super excited about, Long Beach State at UC Irvine. This is the black and blue rivalry. This is a matchup rivalry that's been going on for many, many years in the fiercest rivalry in the conference. Long Beach State, the defending regular season champs. UC Irvine, preseason ranked fourth. They're not happy about that. They're going to want to defend the brand. This is two of the most tenured, longest coaches in the Big West. Not just there, but across the West Coast. So it's always a fun, intense matchup to watch. But let me tell you us to watch for. What to watch for? you got to talk about UC Santa Barbara. I saw them last week. They look dangerous. They look in every bit of the first place team they were ranked to be. They're really, really good. Probably had the best player in the league. And A.J. Mitchell looks like a pro. NBA scouts coming to see him play. They returned four starters. One newbie, Andre Kelly. He was all conference in the back 12. 6'9", 255. He mans the middle. They're out rebounding teams by about six and a half boards per game. They're out scoring teams by about nine points per game. Looks like they're getting better in their shooting and turnover issues they were having before a Big West play. I'm telling you, they look really cohesive. They say they're determined to win it all. Does not surprise me they're 11-2. and two. Does not surprise me they're 2-0 and oh in the Big West. It would not surprise me if they run the tables throughout most of Big West play. All the time I got, Shula for two.